Welcome back to the Edmodo tutorial. This section is on groups. Groups are located on your home page and you can have as many groups as you like. If you click on the little plus sign in this gray box it will say create or join. At this point I'm going to create a group. We're going to call it test. We're, this first button you can select a single grade or you can come to the second part and click range. You choose the second slider and you move it to, I teach 9 through 12, so I move it to 12. Then I take the first slider and move it to 9th. Subject area, vocational studies, create. I now have this group. This code is good for 14 days. After you have all your students logged in, and members, you can lock it and then unlock it and get a new code when you want to add a, a latecomer student. This keeps your classroom only the people you want in it. It helps maintain the privacy and the confidential confidentiality. Now in this group, right now we just have me as a member, I'm going to show you how to delete groups because I wound up with quite a few and to get to it, it's this little gear shift. This little gear shift is important. You click on it, you've got your group settings. This is for your current groups. Showing the latest posts, send email and updates. Group settings. You have your basics, but you can go into advanced and this is where you can delete your group. Am I sure? Yes. Now, I created this group here is my club group. I have um, all my club members in this, so I can set, put the calendar in, I can put in updates, and my students know what's going on, and I can send out one message to all, and everyone gets the same message. This group here is special. I created solely for the purpose of showing you a student. I have permission to use this student. All your students are going to be listed as members. The important part you need to remember is this more parent code. His parent code is NCUXAA. Cancel. Um, if you want all of your students codes, you can come to print up here at this little gear shift by members. You can set all your members to read only to be able to contribute or you can print reports. You can print member's name, username, user type, student or teacher, learning style, career goals, number of badges, notifications, and parent code. I am going to show just the parent code. Take, well, we want the student name. Member name, generate page. Now, I'm not going to print it right now, but we have. Devin's name, we have his username, and we have his parent code. So when I send out the parent letter, I can go through and add that parent code to their letters. You can also check on a student's progress with assignments and things that they've turned in. Everything they've done, their badges, all that will be on here. Okay, back to groups. Got sidetracked. With the groups, you can create subgroups. So I'm going into my special group and I'm going to create a small group. New small group. I could also come down here and create new small group. And we're going to, let's say this is my club. I could make a group for officers. I could make a study group. I can divide them up by tables for special projects. I can do all kinds of arrangements within the classroom. I can do field trips. I can do competitions people working on special assignments. I can create a special small group just for them. And I'm not having to start a whole new group, main group. I'm building off of what's already there in the classroom I'm currently working in. Okay, to delete groups, I'm going to click on this one. Again, the little gear shift. This is small groups. I can rename it put in a different description, archive it, or delete it. Since this was a test, I'm going to delete it. And now I'm going to delete this group. 
Group Settings, um, Advanced, Delete Group. Am I sure I want to delete this group? Yes. And now Devin is no longer a member of my group. This concludes our tutorial on groups.